All right, hello, welcome. Today I want to share with you my electroforming tank and the how it works. It could motivate you to, I don't know, maybe build one like it or just kind of learn some maybe tips and tricks from it, okay? So another thing is down below there is a very detailed video on building this tank but I'm still going to give you the overview of the tank because there's two types of learners. One, you know, you can instantly see how things work and they can put that together. Two, there might be a person that needs, you know, like a step-by-step -step or, uh, you know, a shopping list just in case you get stuck. So this video gives you the overview of it and how it works. And if you, you need that, go ahead. If you want more details, there's a link below uh, for an inexpensive video that walks you through the entire build step by step. So the reason for this build is because I wanted to make it so I could easily carbon filter a body of solution without having to wrap filter it. Okay. And if you're not familiar with rack filtering, rack filtering is the ability to suck out the liquid into a vessel. And while it's being sucked out, it gets carbon filtered and it can be stored somewhere. And then you can redistribute it back into the tank. A rack filtering system is amazing because you can drain any tank. So I could drain that little tank over there if I wanted to, whatever. But, I wanted to make it so you didn't have to drain the tank, it just cycles and filters that way, okay? So, that rack mount that I did in my YouTube video is still amazing. I would own one of those any day of the week, but I like the cycling carbon filter now. It's very sweet. Here's how it works. So I have an out port okay, and it's at the very bottom it's cut into one of these tubs notice that there's two tubs there's a tub on the outside and there's a tub on the inside this is I, I referred this as a gutter and what the gutter does is keep all the crud out of this environment out here it keeps it it can drop back into there any liquid that just kind of falls out Anytime I pull these out of their little holes, um, all the crystals can drop into this, the gutter. Also, the gutter provides a nice, I could put a lid over the top of this because there's some notches cut. And that will make it so the electroforming solution doesn't you know, evaporate out so bad. So that right there uh, takes the liquid and it brings it down here to a pump. And then the pump pumps up to a whole house filter. And then it goes back into the tank in the back there. Now, all I did is in the video, I don't cover how to install the electrical because that's different in all countries. But just know that this is a standard household switch. It's, it's basically just that plug hooked up to a switch. Okay, So you could pretty much plug this thing into maybe a power strip and just have the power strip toggle if you wanted the pump. So how you turn this on and off would be different for all people. I just went the little bit extra and I made this little thing. Got to get cover for it. And there we go. It's now being filtered. And what I can do there is, let's say I just turn it on. I can go do my thing. Maybe 15, 20 minutes I'll keep it on and that'll cycle out the entire tub. And then I can turn it off.
Cool. One of the things I've learned is make sure all your connections are on the outside of the box because if you don't have the connections outside the box, you'll get contamination from your hooks or your gator clips. So in this case, I try to keep these on the outside, except for these two, but as many as possible. So this just goes back in on the other side of the gutter. And I have a heater and a thermostat. Cool. Down below I do have my magnetic stir. Um, this is one I built a long time ago, but it works out really well. I like the how calm it is. It's a big two inch one and just kind of sits there and does its thing. And if you notice when I turn this on, the current is just amazing. See, I'm getting some really nice shiny results, as always. I have not seen, uh, I've seen a couple things out there where it says, you know, like carbon filtering maybe removes like acid. I have not seen that really. Um, I have not seen acid levels ever be infected by a carbon filter. It will remove contaminants. It will remove some of your brightener, okay? But it's basically the after brightener. So it doesn't really affect all brightener, just because I've barely add brightener to this tank. And the brightener that I do use is very inexpensive. I got a video out there how to use Miralax as a brightener. I use that, a lot of it, and once in a great, great while, I'll put some of the Rio Grande, only because there's a couple other additives in there that I have never been able to um, replicate. So I don't know what's in the Rio Grande, but I know PEG is one of the things, but I'm not sure what the other uh, synthesized material is. So I still have to use maybe, you know, like a little squirt of that every once in a while. But the PEG, Miralax, actually works quite well with the Rio Grande, so I don't have to use the Rio Grande so much. And if you're interested in all that and how and what that all means, I do have another video um, on my website about how to mix electroforming solution that you can purchase the recipe and learn step by step on how to make the, the actual solution. And in that video I cover like basic tank too. Cool, so this is a very advanced version of the tank, but I do want to share so that, you know, like maybe you're motivated to play around and build. Express yourself. Go blow something up. Enjoy.